The standard form of a quadratic equation is the topic of this corncast. The standard form of a quadratic equation is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Please take a moment and write this down. In example one, we're going to rewrite this equation in standard form. Please recall that standard form is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Now it's pretty obvious that this equation is not in standard form. The first term in standard form is going to be our squared term. Well, in our example, our squared term is 2x squared. So we're going to start by writing y equals and then 2x squared. Our next term is our x term. Well, in our example, our x term is negative 3x. So we're going to subtract 3x from 2x squared. Finally, the last term in our standard form is our constant term. Well, the constant term in example 1 is a positive 8. So finally, we add 8 to our equation and y equals 2x squared minus 3x plus 8 is our equation rewritten in standard form. In example 2, we're going to rewrite this equation in standard form. Please notice that there is a product in this equation. So the first thing I want to do is I want to multiply x plus 4 times x minus 9. Now I'm going to use the area model to do that multiplication. I'm going to have my x plus 4 along the top and I'm going to write my x minus 9 along the side. x times x is x squared, x times 4 is a positive 4x, negative 9 times x is a negative 9x, and negative 9 times 4 is a negative 36. So our product of x plus 4 and x minus 9 is x squared, negative 9x plus 4x is negative 5x, and lastly minus 36. Please don't forget that we multiply that product by a negative and that it was set equal to y. Now I'm going to distribute my negative sign, which is the same thing as multiplying x squared minus 5x minus 36 by negative 1. So I'm going to start by rewriting my y equals. And now negative 1 times x squared is negative x squared. Negative 1 times negative 5x is a positive 5x. And negative 1 times negative 36 is a positive 36. So the answer to rewriting my equation in example 2 in standard form is y equals negative x squared plus 5x plus 36. Finally, in example 3, we're going to rewrite this equation in standard form. Now notice that we have a 3 times quantity x minus 1 squared. So I'm going to follow my order of operations and I'm going to go ahead and take care of my x minus 1 squared first. Before we do that, please recall x minus 1 quantity squared is really x minus 1 times x minus 1. So I'm going to rewrite my equation as y equals 3 times x minus 1 times x minus 1. And also don't forget to add 8 to that. So as in the last example, I'm going to go ahead and use the area model to multiply x minus 1 times x minus 1. So x minus 1 along the top and x minus 1 along the side. x times x is x squared x times negative 1 is negative 1x, negative 1 times x is negative 1x, and negative 1 times negative 1 is a positive 1. So I get y equals 3 times 
Well, x minus 1 times x minus 1 is x squared. Negative 1x minus 1x is negative 2x. And lastly, add 1 to that. And again, don't forget to add 8. After performing that product, I now need to follow my order of operations and now multiply 3 to x squared minus 2x plus 1. So I get y equals 3 times x squared is 3x squared. 3 times negative 2x is negative 6x. And finally, 3 times 1 is 3. And one last time, don't forget to add 8 to that. Now the final thing I need to do is collect like terms. So I get y equals, well, 3x squared minus 6x. And finally, 3 plus 8 is 11. So to rewrite this example in standard form, we get y equals 3x squared minus 6x plus 11. Well, that's it for rewriting a quadratic equation into standard form.